And uh, let's see the final situation here. Does it say the score somewhere? I mean, does it have the scoring? Uh, so... so I well, can see it here. Yeah, I guess it technically doesn't because people end at different times right like when you yeah. ended your score was there um and then how do you feel about this game um so i'm mixed on it right it's again like we said from the beginning um it seems very simple right it's just four tracks you go down essentially every turn you're choosing one of four actions and what you're gonna do right um uh, but it's really like it's really hard to you can get down one track but it's really hard to know what to do on the others right mm -hmm. does that make sense to you like yeah yeah like think i went hard this game on uh exploration and military put all yeah. my points into exploration and military i was able to peek out military but not exploration maybe had i done my uh, resources a bit different. I could have done one more exploration, but I highly doubt I would have ended up with two more explorations. And then you run into the trap that I kind of see on your end, right? Where truthfully, you're like halfway on all four tracks, right? I really want to like the game. I think it's it, it really is simple. Like it, it's really move here, move here, get the resources. Um, I, I have a hard time always trying to balance, okay, I need this resource. But in order to get this resource, I need to go up this track. Okay, well, I don't need the stuff from this track, but I need the resources. So I kind of ignore it, but then I, I end up needing it. Does that make sense? Like it, it's a, you need to move on one thing to get something, but you really don't need to move on it for any other reason than the resources. To me, it kind of feels like it's a wasted turn. I know it's not because you're getting what you need, but it feels like you're not getting anything really out of it. Yeah, I understand what you're meaning. I mean, but looking... At, so I, I can look here at the scores, right? Like the statistics of the game. You had one more move than I did. You know, that that's pretty good. Um, honestly, most of our stuff was real... was pretty even. So the points from the income, Matt, you had 89, I had 82. Pretty close there. Points from the tracks, this is where you beat. You got 37, I had 12. The rest, points from tech cards, not a big difference. Civilizations, not a big difference. Points from tapestry cards, I had you beat there 27 to 12. The next like biggest one was points from achievements. And I'm not really sure what the achievements were. So in the final situation, like the actual mm -hmm. map here... The achievements are the three achievements in the middle of the map, right? The bottom left corner, right above. Oh, okay. And I did two of them, right? So, and you didn't do any. So the first yeah, honestly person, didn't even realize those were there. Right. So the first person to do one gets ten points, and then the second gets five. Right. I'm gonna stop yeah. you right there, real quick. I don't like the achievements in this game. To me, it feels very stuck on feels like they took a successful game like Terraforming Mars, which has mm -hmm. achievements, right? Hex Baseboard, right? I'm not comparing that these games play the same at all. They feel like they stuck in these achievements. And I say that because two of the three achievements has to do with conquering, right? Like mm -hmm. the getting to the middle and the toppling two, that is only conquering. They are only involved in the military track. I, I don't know. I just don't – I don't understand. Maybe I'm not paying attention and military doesn't have as many points to gain as the other one, so it's meant to be that way. Them being achievements, it's something that everybody should be fighting for, but the best – most optimal way to get it is, oh, rush military, right? You can get the two that are military only, and you get the end of the track. Just go to the end of the military track wonder if those achievements change or if they're the same throughout yeah. every game. No, they are. They're the, they're the exact oh, okay. same three achievements every game. Yeah, then I agree with you 100%. If anything, there should be like four achievements, right? One for each track. I don't know. I just don't know how, like, this game's fun. It's fun enough to play. Um, 
I don't know. I feel like there's not a huge amount of replayability to this game, right? Mm. So the first time we played it, I kind of thought the opposite, right? I'm like, oh, yeah, next time I can try a different track. But now I've kind of done that, right? Like the first game, I went in science and technology, did those tracks, right? Well, this game, I did the exact opposite. I did exploration and military. Now what? Mix another two tracks, right? Like it just... Well, what's the difference going to be then? Yeah, like, I don't know. I just don't see a ton of replayability. I also think that there's a lot of luck in what... Like, I don't think the starting civilizations, they kind of just give you a direction to point mm-hmm. you, right? I think, you know, I think that's fine. I, I like when games do that. There's a lot of luck in the tapestry cards. And I say that because I distinctly remember last game we played... I got a tapestry card that involved the science dice, and it was like, I don't, I'm going to misquote it, but it was like, get double the bonus, or something, it had something to do with the science dice, and when I got that card was literally right before I was about to income, and I was on the fourth science track spot, so my next two moves in were rolling the dice, right? And I'm like, this is huge, whereas this game... I never got a tapestry card that meshed with my play. Your civilization. My civilization or my track. Like, I had already kind of committed to I'm going military and exploration, and then you get science cards that don't really mesh with those, right? Like, yeah. had I gotten the the science dice ones, it wouldn't have helped me, right? So, mm. I don't know. Going back to what you said with comparing it to, like, Terraforming Mars, I do definitely see that. And, and like you said, the, the gameplay is not the same, but it does kind of seem like it's trying to be that way. But really, this game reminds me a lot of Paladins of the West Kingdom. It reminds me of it so much. That one, though, has way more replayability. Just the way that you're gathering resources and stuff like that. But again, it, it's one of those games that you really kind of have to plan out, but... Also, you really don't because it's, it's you just move along a track and, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I see it both ways, right? Like, I think maybe because I'm biased, I love Paladins, right? It's yeah. definitely one of my top favorite games. Um, there's a lot of strategy to it, and there's a lot of mm-hmm. building your strategy. And there's that is a game that, like, turn one mattered. This game, I don't know. I don't have as much of that in Paladins. Yeah, there's a lot of choices, and yeah, there's a lot of resource management, and um, kind of this track sort of plays off that track, but like, I don't know. I think it's just like, there were a couple times where it's like, yeah, I'm going to go on this space, and it's going to, like, uh, for example, the uh, third to last exploration space, right? It's giving mm-hmm. me one victory point for the technology track that I had yeah. not moved on. It's like, well... That's where this does me no good. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Like, yeah. it's just is what it is. I'm getting one point at the time from it. So I don't know. Yeah, there's just a lot of that's it. I'm this is yeah. the best move for me, even though it's really not that great. So and you know it, it could even be. Um, I was thinking about this when we were playing it. Like, there is so much stuff on this game. So you have to read your civilization. You have to read your tapestry cards. You want to kind of look at your board that you have with all the buildings. And uh, at least on, on the computer that I'm on, you know, the screen is pretty small. And I can't look at all of that at once. I think maybe playing this game in person uh, might make it a little bit better just because you can kind of maybe plan, strategize a little bit more. I would definitely like to try it not virtual because, I mean, that's the only times that you and I have played it has, has been here on, on Board Game Arena. But I think I would want to give it another try there. It's one that seems cool. I know there's an expansion for it. Maybe we can try that out. I don't know what it adds exactly, but it's just kind of a, another game for me. Yeah, I I would say that, right? If you, one of these nights, are like, hey, I'm feeling tapestry, I'll just be like, okay, we'll play it, right? Uh, I was just going to say, last time we played this, about a month ago or so, we scored 246, I scored 97. Uh, so I did improve my play a lot this time. <laughs> uh, it was 228 to 165. Still got destroyed, but not two and a half fold. You know, you know how I play, right? Like I, yeah. I 
can be very strategic. Um, I can be analyze a lot. So 246 to 228, when I thought I played very differently, right, mm-hmm. tells me that, like, what is there more to do in the game? That's that's kind of what it tells me. Because before you said that, I was kind of thinking, like, is this the type of game that can be solved, right? Because you start with the same four resources, yeah, different civilization and whatnot, and you get tapestry cards to kind of add to the randomness. But, like, ultimately, like, the science track's pretty decent track because you roll that dice to advance other tracks for free especially like early in the game it lets you get further in possibly bonuses skip some of the crappier Mm -hmm. spaces later in the game it lets you skip a three resource cost like that's it's huge just seems like such a good track um but you saying that the score is about the same it tells me that well it really doesn't matter just pick one commit to it let that be it. And you know, it could be maybe we're missing something, right? Yeah, like that's very true. Maybe, maybe we just don't. I, I don't know. So, I mean, definitely, if you're watching this, let us know. I, I know I made plenty of mistakes in, in the game, but is there if there's something that, that we're missing, let us know. Like we said, we're we're down to try it again. For me, it's just kind of there. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. Um, anyway, if you have stuck around this long watching, awesome. We really do appreciate it like subscribe comment you know uh we'll read every single comment uh we appreciate all of y'all watching honestly we do this because we love board games uh and we love board game content and wanted to uh add to that community you know if there's anything that you guys think that we should do we should add um anything that you guys didn't like again yeah just comment that on there um, we've got our socials down in the the description below. Just make sure you share, like, and just go from there. So we appreciate you guys watching. All right. Take care.